Welcome to this session on DevOps career roadmap. Well, DevOps is not an old field. The DevOps movement began around 2007 when the software development and IT operations communities raised concerns about the traditional software development methods. The concern that developers who wrote code worked apart from operations who deployed and supported the code. Then the term DevOps was coined, combination of the words development and operations, reflecting the process of integrating both the disciplines into one and continuous process. The two important phases that DevOps brings to the software development life cycle are continuous integration and continuous delivery. Continuous integration is basically a software development practice where developers merge every code change they do into a single repository. The goal behind this practice is to find bugs quicker and stamp out issues before they become widespread or reach implementation in the first place. If things go well, then the time it takes to release and update software decreases significantly. Now, on the other hand, continuous delivery is about implementing code changes that are automatically built, tested and prepared for a release to production. If done right, at the end, developers will have prime time ready builds that have already been tested adequately always at their disposal. I hope now you guys are clear with basic DevOps lingo. Now moving forward, let's take a deep dive into the career prospects this field has to offer. We'll start with discussing DevOps job roles. Well, according to Glassdoor's ranking report of top 50 best jobs, DevOps has been ranked second. Not only that, but according to a joint study conducted by Linux Foundation and job site DICE, 60% of hiring managers are still looking out to fill DevOps professional positions at their firm. But when I use the term DevOps professionals, I don't just mean one specific job role. Actually, since DevOps involves such a vast array of tools and techniques, the responsibilities are broadly categorized into seven job descriptions or roles. Let's look at them one by one. First one we have is DevOps Engineer. Now DevOps Engineer is also a platform engineer and is responsible for managing and supporting the platform utilized for DevOps operations. The average salary for a DevOps Engineer tends to be just around a hundred thousand US dollars with talented and experienced DevOps engineers making a whooping 150,000 US dollars a year or more. And if we talk in the context of India, the average salary lies around 10 lakh rupees per annum, which could go as high as 30 lakh rupees per annum. Next role we have is DevOps Evangelist. There are many companies already devoted to the DevOps lifestyle. Many more, however, are not. These companies need a DevOps Evangelist to guide them on the path. The Evangelist can either be a consultant or an employee, and they typically hold an upper level position. According to Payscale, the salary for evangelists range between 55,000 to 81,000 US dollars, whereas in India, it averages between 8 lakh to 12 lakh per annum. Third up is Build Engineer. The Build Engineer is a DevOps managerial position. This particular person will be in charge of development team. This person is in charge of overseeing the build and development process and making sure that deadlines and goals are reached in a hectic setting. According to Glassdoor, Average salary for this role is around 10 lakh rupees in India, which could vary up to 16 lakh rupees per annum. And in the US market, it ranges between 60,000 US dollars to 110,000 US dollars. Next up, we have a release engine. If the build engineer is the back of the coin, the release engineer is the front. The release manager is an oversight and managerial position that oversees the overall development pipeline guiding both individual releases and overall release schedule. As a mid-level to upper-level management position, salary for release managers in the USA average around US$120,000 to US$140,000 per year, with higher-level managers reaching up to US$170,000 or more. Similarly, in India, it ranges between lakh per annum to lakh per annum. Next up we have is Automation Architect. The automation architect is responsible not just for researching and implementing automation systems, but for integrating those systems with other existing automation and non-automation systems. Finally, we have a DevOps software developer. The role of the software developer is crucial for any software-focused company, but it's even more important for a DevOps team. In DevOps, a software developer is not just responsible for developing code, they also test deploy, monitor and support that code. The role is 
in essence a combination of both the software developer and the QA roles. DevOps software developers need to be fluent in coding and software development, but also DevOps practices for QA and maintenance. This often means a reliance on automated testing applications, thus a DevOps software developer needs to know and understand these applications. The salary for this role lies in the range of 120,000 US dollars to 140,000 US dollars in the USA and in India it lies anywhere between 15 lakh per annum to 40 lakh per annum. I hope the basic work structure for these six job roles is clear to you all. However, let me tell you guys, there are more DevOps job roles available out there such as security engineer, data analyst etc. But the roles that we just talked about do form the core foundation of DevOps. That being said, here we are to the conclusive point of this session, that is the roadmap for becoming the next DevOps professional. The first step for this endeavor will be learning several backend programming languages. The first step to becoming a DevOps engineer is proficiency in one or several programming languages. Programming skills are a must for DevOps because without them, you won't be able to integrate databases or automate development and deployment processes. Debugging databases, debugging code and fixing issues that come to the fore. If you are looking to launch your career into DevOps, we believe you must be proficient in at least one of the big programming languages such as Python, Java, JavaScript. If you are not, we recommend you to at least develop proficiency in two or three programming languages shown here. Next step in DevOps preparation will be getting comfortable with different operating systems. DevOps engineers must understand how various operating systems function and how they differ because they will be running apps on servers. For this reason, Linux is frequently the preferred option and is utilized by majority of businesses and several providers. Most likely, the server hosting your web application is going to be Linux. But learning about a few more operating system frameworks won't hurt at all. Here is a list of few that you should look into. Well guys. Just knowing operating systems is not enough. We will have to go beyond. Learn about the core concepts of operating systems such as startup management, sockets, threads and concurrency, POSIX basics, IO management, virtualization, memory and storage, networking, etc. The third step in this roadmap is to learn about network security, web servers and terminals. As a DevOps engineer, you must know how to secure your data and ensure its integrity. They define the processes and methodology you will use to keep your network secure and safe from unauthorized access attempts. Not only that, it is also critical to learn how to manage servers, especially web servers. When the user requests information, the server fulfills the request. A web server can host one or multiple websites using the same hardware and resources. It communicates with a web browser by using HTTP and thus Studying about common web servers such as Apache, Nginx, Tomcat, IIS, Caddy, Istio, Envoy, Linkred, etc. is very important. Alongside network security and server management, terminals are really something DevOps professionals should master. Next up we have is continuous integration and continuous delivery tools. As mentioned before, continuous integration and delivery pipeline is essential in software development using DevOps approach. Basically, continuous integration is a software development practice where developers merge every code change they do in a single repository. Whereas on the other hand, continuous delivery is a term related to implementing code changes that are automatically built, tested and prepared for a production release. Some of the commonly used tools that you can put to use to this end are GitHub, Travis CI, GitLab, Bamboo, Azure DevOps and Jenkins. Fifth step in our journey is learn infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as code is a practice in which infrastructure is provisioned and managed using code and software development techniques such as version control and continuous integration. In simple terms, infrastructure as code means managing your IT infrastructure using configuration files. Here are some of the tools that you will need to pick up down the line. That brings us to the next step. Learn to monitor application and infrastructure. Application monitoring refers to the process of measuring the availability, experience and performance of an application. The data you gather from this process allows you to identify and resolve bugs and errors before users start having a bad day. 
you typically have to learn such software such as app dynamic instana new relic and open tracing finally what we have to understand is that you need to learn all the details about cloud as much as you can there is no devops without cloud it is self explanatory but still let me simplify it a bit for that let me ask you a question would you think about doing devops for your local machine the answer is a straight cut no isn't it yes we don't bother devops for local development environments but we do care when we are thinking about hosting application in cloud managing multiple applications and servers and monitoring both applications as well as infrastructure for staging and production environments that's the end of the devops learning road map but things don't end up here devops covers such a vast pool of learning so sometimes it can be very overwhelming to keep at it i would say it's a long and never ending journey keep learning keep improving don't try to learn everything at once instead one at a time and related topics together to make the learning process a bit faster don't just learn do hands on that is important also to contemplate the field of such vastness a well tailored learning program will be the better option for you to choose while the internet is full of wonderful and free resources it won't give you the structured approach or the hands on practice that you need if you want to become an employable devops professional the most effective way to do so is through a specialized learning program or course Intellipath does provide state of the art certification that is designed according to different sets of industry standards and it can definitely act as a ladder for your career change with an exciting salary hike so visit the website and start exploring that being said i wish you good luck on your devops journey i hope these steps will help you plan your learning schedule that's all we have for this video i hope this video was informative to all of you out there willing to take your career to new heights with devops thank you